Don't forget to subscribe and hit that channel. Let us know what we can do better. We're doing. T talk to Mike at Ophelia Blue Vine Farm. Coming to you all the way from Kansas City and Kansas City, Missouri. Hey guys, Mike from Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm. Recently, I had a chance to tour the farm of Bob and Deborah Ford in Kansas City, Kansas. It was an awesome experience. Check it out. So we got the rain in that we needed. Got too much. But we got the watermelon that's coming off on us. It's every day. This, this week, should start picking all of them. Bob, what is this? Ah. Ah. The elusive. Okay, Bob, what is that? That's a yellow meat. But it's gonna be a while before we get in. Um, it's just wet, and we just have a problem trying to get out of here. All you jays down here, it's dead. a lot of them might be ready. I see another scratch mark. Oh, jays are getting big though. Bob, I'm stuck! My foot is stuck! Ah! Ah! Got that mud on you. Got that mud I told you we had four, four inches of rain. Cantaloupes are getting ready. Cantaloupes are getting ready. Oh, <laughs> it's what you get, Mike, but I mean, it's what we're asking for too much rain. I'm stuck. Let's put on the scale, see what you got. That's the biggest one. Put it on scale? Yeah, put it on scale and I'll get you. Hello there. How you doing? Hey, hey. Oh. Wow, you doing good. How you doing? What's that? What's his, Mike? I don't know. Huh? 27. Okay, you got 27 pounds on the, the one of the bigger ones. What do you got to say, Mike? That's amazing. It's the soil. Bob's hooking it up. 27 pounder. Crips so sweet. Ready to go, yellow on the bottom. Just picked out the seed. Oh, that's a gorgeous tomato. And I, they taste as good as they look. Tell them about my What variety are you growing this year? Same one. So, uh, Big beef. Okay, did you, did you do any Cherokee purples? Cherokee purple, they're coming late. Oh, okay. Real late. I, 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 I've experienced the same thing in my garden, but you're the professional. I figured you'd be Baby. you'd be all over it. <laughs> big boys, big boys, um, well, one of our plants is doing okay. We're just amateurs. Deborah's taking me around in the golf cart and she took me down to out to the, to the storeroom and there were more tables than I could count full of green tomatoes and they were just they just they're, they're the sellers and one year my daughter former daughter-in-law came and bought uh, at the end of the season and she bought everything they were just clearing out and she canned everything that that, that she got and this is some of the stuff we check this out this oh, is all the stuff yeah, we picked yeah, today yeah. just out the field this you just picked this today mm -hmm. minutes ago they're warm yeah mm -hmm. They're good too. I mean, yes, they are. All different types of fresh, nothing like the soil, nothing like homegrown. Can you talk about homegrown produce? Oh, when I lived in Florida, we couldn't get homegrown. It was hydroponic. They don't have black dirt there, and I just craved some good old Midwest homegrown tomatoes. I just uh, craved them. My grandfather used to grow the best best I ever had. Of course, I was a kid and of course he was my grandpa, so I thought he had the best I ever had. But my grandma would, uh, she would uh, jar up, she would, she would tomato preserves, and we'd have those in the winter, and it's the best thing I ever had, so it's uh, food to grow up on. Loading up for Saturday, got the tomatoes, we've got the potatoes, we've got the water, the watermelons, got the onions, more watermelon, zucchini, cucumber, muscadine, jelly, and uh, and the corn's coming yeah, in. Yeah, right. Come back at nine o'clock. Okay. I'll be nine thirteen. 
And then these are the watermelon here. And yeah, we also got some out of office sparkles. Look at this. Look how big that baby is. Bob, what are you doing? You can't eat the supply. Mm -hmm. What is, what? The coon didn't get to this the one. Coon, they tried, they tried. What an awesome time I had at the farm of Bob and Deborah Ford in Kansas City, Kansas. And thank you again for having me out and look forward to working with you and your farm this year in 2023. All right, guys, I'm Mike at the Food Blue Vine Farm. I'll see you in the next video.